Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, this is another weekly tarot video. Look at me staying consistent. I've actually been slacking on TikTok lately, um, but I'm doing good with YouTube. So apparently I'm only good at doing one thing at a time. Um, so I already pulled a little bit of cards for my fixed sign. So we're going to do Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio first. And then I'm just going to pull a few more cards before I get into the reading. First things first. Prepare to not be liked this week, but I don't mean this as like the world is out to get you and nothing is going to go right ever. But I do mean this as like you're going to end up choosing yourself instead of pleasing everyone around you and it's going to feel incredibly intimidating but you're going to be happy that you did this um i do have the lovers i have uh ah, Arif, the hierophant reversed i also have temperance reversed and i feel like you've just been incredibly overextended for the input and opinions that other people have over you i think that you've been giving a lot of people authority over you and this is the thing i feel like when you're loyal fix signs you will go to the ends of the earth for people around you um but i do think that sometimes you can be so used or so so used to or so comfortable with someone that you can become like more tolerant with things that maybe you shouldn't be and I think that this is a, a point in time where, like, you're overextended. And I think it's more emotional than anything else. Like, I don't see this being, like, a big career week for you. I don't see this being, like, a big financial drain for you. But I do see you being overextended and just, like, tired and fatigued. And I feel, like, mentally weighed down. So if there's anything that I could maybe caution... Sorry, my dog just got groomed and my other dog wants to violate him and so i'm separating them and now he's screaming so i'm hoping i can get through these tarot readings but we'll see because he's already starting his shit again um yeah so i feel like you're it's you're gonna inevitably have to not please everyone and you're you know that you're gonna piss someone off by disagreeing with them like you know that you're not going to Tell someone what they want to hear or you have to like basically say enough is enough and you have to take back some time and energy for yourself and i feel like you're you're really upset about this idea like that you know that you have to and you know that like um something's got to give this week you're at your limit but i feel like just the idea of having to assert yourself or maybe tell someone that you respect or you are loyal to that you need to distance yourself a bit or that you need to put more energy into yourself instead of their needs um, is nerve-wracking for you because I feel like you know it's inevitably going to displease them and cause conflict between you guys. But I feel like spirit is kind of like, wow, if you have to be this tired and fatigued around this person and it, it's, it's so draining to even express yourself or validate yourself around this person and then when you do, it becomes this big fight. Like, how much are they putting your needs and interests um, into mind versus maybe their immediate needs and, and interests um and i feel like i mean my personal opinion about the spread is like you need to definitely find better people to surround yourself with but um i know that i'm talking to literal fixed signs and i know that it's easier said than done so i'm not going to tell you like oh move on like go away but i do feel like you're going to reach the end of the week feeling like very I'm so sorry about my dog. I really hope he's not as loud as I think he is. I'm gonna play this back and see, but uh, <laughs> So, um, I really feel like at the end of the week you're kind of sitting by yourself a little confused with like what to do next um, So like maybe you get The time to yourself that you've been needing but then like you feel just guilty the whole time So you can't even really enjoy yourself, but basically lean into the idea of evaluating things and people that you're so comfortable with that you might not realize how much they um how much how many allowances you give them i feel like sometimes you can be so giving to people that you're so comfortable with that you don't realize um how expectant it's becoming for them like they feel like it's owed almost when it's not um like your time is not something that people should just feel entitled to and you might have to do some restructuring of 
you know, sometimes you have to put distance between you and other people and it's nothing personal, but it's just, you have to prioritize your mental health. Um, you know, sometimes it's just, you can't always be there for them. But I also would just say like, be mindful of energy vampires that you're really close to that you would not think are, but could be. So I would just say that is, um, something coming up here. <laughs> so yeah, if you liked this reading, um, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All my social media links are down below and I will see you in my next video. Um, so I have your reading for Cardinal Science, Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, and Libra. This reading is for you. Um, and it's kind of interesting because I have the lovers and I have the fool reverse. I feel like this was your last week's reading as well, or like you guys had these cards. But if you didn't, then comment below and tell me I'm crazy. That's fine. Um, and then I also have Nine of Swords reverse. So like I see this as, okay, so like the problem arising this week or the thing going on this week is that like someone does something that kind of just doesn't sit well with your spirit. And this is the thing. I don't feel like you actually catch someone doing something like awful. Like I don't feel like the tone is that you are, um, I don't know. You, I don't feel like you have the ammo or the reason to cut someone off or like react in a very hasty way. But I do feel like something that they do just feels very off and like funky with you. However, I feel like what they do um, reminds you of a situation in the past with maybe someone else entirely. And it's like kind of like you navigating through a trauma response or a trigger. And it could help like, kind of cloud your judgment. Like you're not thinking as clearly as you could based on like this situation. It's kind of like something happens and you're like, oh man. Um, and it's weird because it's like you don't have enough ammo to really bring it up in a sense. Like you don't really have a reason to mention anything, but it's still like now your whole vibe is off, if that makes sense. Um, and I did pull because I wanted to be like, well, are you, are you, what you're feeling? Is it like, I don't want to say rational or irrational because I'm not trying to invalidate your experiences, but I'm like, is this person 100% in the wrong or are you just also just kind of anxious because it reminds you of a situation from your past? And I got a mixed bag, so I got kind of like yes to both, if that makes sense. I have Knight of Pentacles reverse and I have King of Wands upright. So I feel like you... Um, <laughs> They are being kind of weird. I don't think they're 100% in the, the right. And I feel like, so you reacting a little bit off is valid. But I do think that you're reacting a bit more intense than you might typically because of this reminding you so much of a past situation. So I feel like it's slightly unfair to them or like to a person around you. Like I feel like you're being a little cryptic or jaded to a situation this week. That reminds you of a past situation, but I think what you need to know or what spirit wants you to know is that um, these are two different situations. This is not the same thing. Even if it reminds you of a past thing, it is not the same. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I have the star reversed. I have six of swords reversed. I have eight of wands reversed. So this is going to be a very slow moving kind of dilemma or setback and I do think it kind of makes sense because like mercury retrograde has started or it hasn't yet but by the time you watch this it will um and I feel like you yeah judgment reverse at the bottom of the deck I feel like it's something that you just have to sit with for a little bit um so this is one of those weeks where spirit is like don't react yet just kind of wait until you have more information because sometimes I feel like like I don't want to sound crazy but sometimes I feel like you are revealing all of your cards um too soon and it's putting you at a disadvantage and i'm not saying like to be sneaky or to hide or to bottle things up but i do feel like sometimes we can project problems into a situation that wasn't necessarily there to begin with and so a lot of our fear can kind of manifest in ways that just make it a lot harder and stickier for ourselves so essentially you know this is a week where you need to make sure i just have this one piece of hair and this right here, like, I want to die. Can it not do that? Can it do anything but that? But, um, yeah, I just feel like this is a week where as much as you are 
going back and forth between if you should give someone the benefit of the doubt, if you're being too lenient on, on a situation, maybe you should be stricter, maybe you should be more vocal. Um, sometimes if you're, if you're that conflicted, which I feel like you are, it's best to just not react, not do anything, just sit with it for a second and just process things inwardly. Um, again, I'm not saying bottle things up. I'm saying to just sit with something for a moment to give yourself the time to analyze it and to really assess it. Because again, if you're not careful, you could just like put yourself in a situation that you might feel you overreacted with later. You could feel like you cut someone off too soon when they really didn't give you enough ammo to cut them off. It's kind of like, <sighs> okay, for example, say, um, the last person you talked to was always telling you that they were on the phone with their family member and then you realize later that they weren't but then you try to like talk to someone new for the first time and they're on the phone with their family a lot or like they're saying they can't call you because they're on the phone with you know something like that and so it's like you just met this person you don't know them yet to feel that anxious and like it's a situation where um you shouldn't respond anxiously but because of your past situation it's like a trigger hearing that word like that same exact excuse when someone was lying to you but now this person could be telling you the truth you don't know and so it's just kind of like you have to wait a little bit longer um because you have to give yourself a chance um but also give them a chance because if you're not careful you're like cutting people off left and right and maybe it's not even it's like it's like you're gonna cut everyone off because of seeing someone who really hurt you from the past and everyone that's around you and that's not really fair to new opportunities, new possibilities, new situations and it's only going to make you feel worse. So I feel like this is just a good week for self-care, sitting with yourself, sitting with your thoughts, validating yourself. What I like to do during retrograde seasons too specifically is when I'm like really conflicted with a miscommunication with someone or like I need to like talk to someone because I'm very very vocal and that can sometimes be a problem uh, so I will write out long texts and I don't send them and I'll dwell on them and I'll read them over and over and over again and honestly sometimes it like by the time I've done I'm, I've done rereading them 500 times I've done like I'm finished dwelling on it I don't even feel any to send it anymore like I feel like I, I got it out of my system and again there's a difference between going after everything aggressively and fighting with everyone aggressively and cutting everyone off aggressively or um, bottling things up to the point that you never say anything. I'm not saying to do either. I'm saying to do the middle one. I'm saying do sit for a second and then eventually once you know you're not projecting onto someone unfairly, then bring up a situation. But this is a good week to just sit back and let things kind of fall where they may and not um, overreact or react too hastily. But yeah, um, if you want to follow me on other social media links, they are all listed down below. And I will see you in my next video. I don't know what accent that was. I don't know what's going on with me today. But keep in mind that all my videos are for entertainment purposes only and I'm not going to tell you to quit your job. Um, Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, and Virgo. But I am going to tell you that um, sometimes we do more than we should in our jobs and or spaces where we feel obligated and we can overperform but then feel underappreciated and then keep overperforming hoping the more that we overperform we will feel more appreciated and then we end up feeling worse. So um, that's what this spread is basically saying. Uh, not saying to quit your job, but maybe to, um, ask yourself if you're truly happy, fix up your resume for funsies, apply to other places for fun, um, pursue that dream or career or aspiration that you just really want to do, even if it is not even money-based or career-related, even if it's just a side hobby outside of work. You need to decompress. <laughs> um, so let me show you all the cards. <laughs> So I have King of Pentacles, I have Ten of Pentacles, so, oh, Ten of Wands, excuse me, Ten of Wands, that's you at your job currently, oh my god, okay, there you go, that's you at your job, um, and 
and two of swords. So I feel like you're carrying a lot of responsibility and people view you in a very prestigious way or they have a lot of respect for you and because of this, you don't necessarily take it as a bad thing that you have so much to do, um, but you are overextended. Like your coworkers here that you've worked 50, 60 plus hour weeks and stuff and think that it's crazy, but for you it's just like every week. Like I don't really feel like that's something that you have registered is unfair because you're just that good of a worker, you're that over, much of an overachiever. And also I just think you have this like reputation, this positive reputation at work. Granted, do I think that maybe your upper bosses or colleagues or what do you call it? Upper management um, overly inflate you and compliment you because they know that you're doing so much for them? I do. I think that about you. But um, you have to decide for that if that is true for yourself. Um, and I kind of just feel like you are vocal, but not necessarily in ways that you need to be. Like you'll be vocal about work projects and things work related, but not about you being overextended. Um, so I pulled more cards. And at this point I was kind of like, is this an overextended with your reputation at work? Or is this a overextended with your reputation with like a, in a, your personal life, your romance life? Like I was trying to kind of narrow it down for you. Um, and at first I was pulling like Knight of Swords, Justice Reverse, and Princess of Wands Reverse. But when I shuffled to pull these cards, I said, give me a Pentacles card if it's work. Give me a Cups card if it's relationships. Just because I wanted to see. Anyways, so it told me nothing. <laughs> um, but then I pulled again and I got four of Pentacles reversed. So I'm going to tell you this is a work spread, but because of this and spirit loving to never be specific, um, I, ha I feel like it could be an injustice with work, but it's mainly just an injustice around an obligation in your life. So it doesn't really have to be career. It could just be an obligation that people just expect of you, that you just don't question, that you just have to do. But it might not be, um, it might not be work. I'm leaning towards work. I think it's your work, but... Um, there's like a 10% chance that I'm off. So you know the answer, you'll know the answer, but I also have Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this week is about you overextending yourself, you identifying that you're overextending yourself, and then you kind of reach a point where you're like, wow, I think this is the time that maybe I need to change something about my routine or my structure or my schedule. And I think that it's so unintentional that you've gotten into this routine. I think you're just a hard worker. You're committed to what people rely on you for, what people want from you, and that's a beautiful thing. But it's an even more beautiful thing to feel happy within yourself and to not feel taken advantage of. And I do feel like from this spread, I'm seeing you're overextended, and I do feel like there's kind of an injustice around this like setup that you're in or this like routine that is built around you. And I do think it's kind of unfair to you. So I feel like... Now, two things could happen. One, you speak up, there's a confrontation, but then you reach a resolution. Or two, I feel like you're just blowing off steam in really impulsive, harmful ways around the obligation in your life. Um, and this could lead to regret. Now, when I see Princess of Wands reverse, I think of someone that's like the life of the party, but the messy life of the party. The one that's like had too many drinks, they're on the table. They're dancing in ways that they're going to regret in the morning if it circulates on the internet later on. Like, it's just, you're overdoing it. You're you're burning the candle at both ends to the point of no return. Um, this could also mean, like, you know, being stressed after working a double and then blowing all of your paycheck uh, impulsively out of the store because you want retail therapy, but now you have retail remorse and therapy. Um, it's just kind of like you're in this cycle of overextending, overblowing off steam, no resolution. And this week is kind of about you being a bit more assertive with your needs, but also maybe questioning if it's time for a change. Um, and I don't feel like when I pulled this spread, like I wasn't really in the, I didn't get the impression that you felt you needed a change in your life. So this could be like an aha moment for you. Or you could be in denial when you watch this and then later on you'll be like, oh wait, <laughs> maybe Milk was right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I hope that this is helpful. Um, 
I don't see this as the sky falling. I just see it as like, a, oh, maybe I should change something or say something. Um, so those are just kind of, uh, yeah. So all of my social media links are listed down below. If you want to follow, you can. You don't have to. Um, you can block me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, I will see you in next week's video.